Good morning, everybody. Today's a special day. Today's the day that we get to hear from you because it's viewers Q and A day. And in order to make the A's, we need the Q's. Hello, everybody. My name is Michael Loche, and welcome to the live Hangout with Michael show. We're here every Friday. You know that. 9 o'clock Pacific, 12 noon Eastern. I got my rock star panel with me today. Today, we are taking questions on Law of Attraction, on Your Life's Purpose, on NLP, and we're also going to take questions on the Emotion Code and Body Code. John will be handling those questions today. If you're new to us, we're live. We're here to inspire you, uplift you, and give you the tools and processes so you can have a rich, full, awesome life. And that's what our goal is here today. So uh, welcome. If you just joined us and you're watching live, say hello. Let us know where you're calling from. And, uh, you know, Sylvie Bellini, go us ahead. Give us a weather update. Good. Uh, I'm going to say good morning to my panel, Dana. Good morning from Vancouver. Good morning, Michael. Thank you. Always a pleasure to be on the show, for sure. I live in Vancouver, and I work with women solopreneurs who are uh, stuck in their business. And I also offer a program called Discover Your Sacred Gifts. So if you check my website, danasmithers.com programs uh, forward slash sacred hyphen gifts, you will find out about that because once you know your sacred gifts, we've all got three to five of them. It just helps you feel more on purpose. And you can couple that with Michael's book, Life's Purpose, and you can really find out what you're here for and what fulfills you and what brings you joy and abundance in your life. Good stuff. Well, good, Donna. And uh, you're going to help us out today. You and I are going to be answering law of a crash, tracking mm -hmm. questions, and uh, John's going to be contributing, reading some questions as well. And uh, while I have you, tell us about last week's show, please. And uh, for people that um, may be just joining us, we're on episode number 205. So if you want to have a micro marathon, ooh, you're going to be busy. Let's just get them on one more show. Today we're 206. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 sorry. <laughs> We're no, sorry. I'm ready for next week, Michael. Okay, last okay. week, 204. Yeah. 204, Tell, what did we do yeah. last week? So right. it was a great show. It was all about uh, wanting to attract more money in your life. So you gave some really, really good tips about to do with lottery tickets and checks that you have. And I actually posted in, I don't know if you saw it or not, but right after the show, I went to order a strap for my watch. So I was on Skype and I was on hold and she was getting it all ready and I was doing other things. And uh, she came back and she said, you know, I am so sorry for keeping you on hold for so long. Our computers are down. We are sending you that new watch strap free. <laughs> I don't even know what it costs. So I just said, awesome, thank you. So, you know, this is why you want to listen to these programs. You said, you I am in. Well, you had the right yeah. vibe, right? You were, exactly. you were talking about doing that last week. Yeah. Well, that's so just, Yeah, 204. Good stuff. Well, welcome back. And, uh, hey, we're staying in beautiful Vancouver. I'm in Victoria, B.C., the farthest west of Canada. And uh, John and Van, uh, John and Dan are in Vancouver. John, can you say hello and good morning, please? Good morning, and yeah, hello everyone. Always a pleasure to be here on the panel. Uh, yes, my name is John Inverarity, and I'm a certified emotion code and a certified body code practitioner. And yeah, I love helping people with chronic pain, money blocks, uh, relationship blocks, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, I work from from home, helping people all over the world. It is absolutely wonderful to have yeah. uh, that that type of freedom, which is one of my yeah. fulfillment needs. That's night we get to and we get to influence other people's with our work that we do by helping them relieve chronic pain. Now you and I have something special going on. We do that on Saturdays. Uh, so for those of that are new to us today uh, watching, we have another spin-off show. It's on Saturdays. John, tell them about that, please. Yeah, tomorrow at the same time, same place here in Michael's uh, Facebook fan page. That's uh, the Emotion Code Bro Show, and we are on episode 15 tomorrow. So we've been doing this for 15 weeks. I know. And next week it is, or tomorrow it is uh, anxiety or social anxiety. So uh, big topic, huge topic to work on. We're looking for someone to okay. with anxiety that we're going to help with the emotion code. Yeah. Now you know what? Uh, one thing that's really important. We only work on things that I've had success with, or you have, so we can say, yeah, it works. So we don't really know what we're going to get. But I know every client that I work with has anxiety. 
I reduce their anxiety significantly within, within minutes. So we know we can do that tomorrow. If you're watching live tomorrow, you can say, I have social anxiety. We'll chat you up a little bit, find out what it is, we'll work with you. But so that's tomorrow's show. What are we doing in the week after, John? What's that t show topic? Uh, it's, it's, <laughs> I think this is your idea. Constipation. <laughs> <laughs> so digestive concerns, specifically constipation. Doesn't matter whose idea it was, John. <laughs> Doesn't matter most, whose idea. We're doing ideas. it. We're doing it. Well, good. Uh, well, welcome back, John. You're going to help me out today. Now, uh, I got a couple of announcements to make first. If you live in beautiful Victoria, BC, or you're willing to come here, uh, I have a presentation on September 15th. That's a live emotion code presentation. It is a free event. You need to register. It's a private uh, um, location. We're going to have about 35 or 40 people talk about the emotion code, have people come to the front of the room and demonstrate the removal of chronic pain and anxiety, and maybe a couple of food items here and there. We're having so much fun with that. Like we are, we are eliminating food choices from people. Next, uh, well, you're not in Victoria and you want to be around me. You want to lose, reduce your weight like I did and the other 22 people that have taken my program. It is a 10 session. We meet 10 times. And in 10 meetings with the group of 10, you will have 50 emotion code sessions, everything from your beliefs about losing weight to how much water you drink to how much exercise you do and everything that's stopping you uh, to have a new body. And this is permanent changes. So check it out. It's hangoutwithmichael.com forward slash weight loss. And I have a new program. I have a couple spots left because the people that took the weight program are filling this one up. This one is on money. It's 10 meetings, 50 emotion code sessions on money. Most of them are about your beliefs and your inherited, uh, inherited trapped emotions from your parents' beliefs about money. And I promise it will shake you up because here's the rule. When you send a different vibe, you get different results. Imagine 50 emotion code sessions all around your resistance to win things, to be gifted things, to find things, to earn money. Like the first question, I want to find out what your, your financial ceiling is. How much money do you want to make? You don't have to share it with the group. You have it in your head. And I'll find out whether that's BS or not. And then if it is, how to remove the BS blocks that were stopping you. It is a 10-session program. You can go to hangoutwithmichael.com forward slash emotion code, and you'll see this graphic. Click it on and learn more. And I have a special uh, class net coming up next Wednesday. It is for emotion code practitioners and students. It's, uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to be sharing my personal model on how I built my emotion code practice to fill it the way I want to have it filled. It's free. It's going to be on this Facebook page Wednesday, 4 p.m. Pacific uh, on the 30th, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern. Okay, I think that's about it. John, why don't you tell me who was saying what out in the room, please? Absolutely. Um, Sasa Van is saying hello, everyone. Uh, love you guys. Hey, Heart, Sasa you guys. Man. Yeah, Sasa Man. Misty Anderson, good morning. Hashtag Alaska Misty's here. <laughs> hey, John, did you get a haircut yesterday? <laughs> no, not yesterday. A few days I, ago. Yeah, I think we go hair, hashtag hit Misty. <laughs> hashtag new haircut on <laughs> Emotion Code Bros. Can you do that first, Misty? <sighs> <sighs> Gwen Lorena is watching. Uh, uh, hey, good Gwen. evening, Gwen. Yes. Well, it's good afternoon from a warm and sunny London, UK. Looking forward to you and your rock star panel bringing more sunshiny vibes. Hashtag well, dream team. Yeah, let's stay in the UK because Sylvia Bellini is also greetings from a lovely sunny London. We're having a wonderful day here. My family is so grateful for the extra crisps they have available. <laughs> right now. She's not eating any. <laughs> so Sylvia was on the bro show. We got rid of potato chips or crisps for her. Like, hoo hoo. Barb Ashcross have a, a question. We'll answer that when we get to the questions. And uh, and so does Natasha. Uh, okay, I guess we got questions coming in. So let's do this. Okay, I think we're all set up. We told people how we're doing this. Leave a question in the comment. Now, this would be an awesome time. Because you know what? I'm going to do it right now. This would be an awesome time to share the show. I know it's right in front of you, and I'm going to do it too. I'm going to share the show, and that's how we roll. So, John, Barb Ashcroft, if you can scan for her, you can take her question this morning. She's near the top. 
Absolutely. Uh, Barb Ashcroft, uh, emotion code question. When the subconscious doesn't allow an individual to go further, what does this mean? And is extra counseling required? Are there other things or strategies that would assist the body to let go of trapped emotions? Uh, yeah, so when the subconscious doesn't allow an individual to go further, like you can't find a trapped emotion, uh, is there anything contributing to this? You're getting no's, a lot of no's. Um, there's other strategies in the body code, um, other techniques, um, a lot of other things like emotional resonances or ask for a heart wall or um, even like a psychic trauma. Uh, that's when two emotions stuck together form as one. Uh, so those are all, um, well, emotion code and body code, but um, usually I just go with the flow with the session mm -hmm. and uh, it sort of just um, comes up in with well, um, intuition. Yeah, I have a, a case study that I'm working on, which might add to what Barb's talking about. I'm helping a guy quit smoking. And about six minutes in, there's nothing. It says, no. And I asked the subconscious, did I have enough today? And it said, you had enough today. Is there more? Oh, there's more. Can I do them today? No. Can I do it in two hours? No. Can I do it tomorrow? Yeah. So, and, and I was helped. My mom had a stroke. She had severe brain damage. And I helped her probably about for 15 days, but it would only let me do a little bit. And then, then, uh, and I wasn't telling my sisters about that too. And they noticed this. Said, "Wow, is mom ever alert?" Because initially she lost her English and was only speaking French, and she was making up words. And they noticed all that change. But I, it couldn't be done in one session. Oh, cue the 10 the 10 session course on money and weight. People says, "Can't you do this in one day?" Oh, I can do them in one day, but they're not going to stick. So in other words, there has to be processing time. So I think, John, you used the word overload at once. When you were working mm -hmm. with me, I said, uh-oh, no, we're overloaded. It's not going to let me do any more. So um, how can, I guess as a practitioner, can we ask that question? Are we done for now or are we just done? Maybe that's something we should do. I think 95% of the time you need a day off in between sessions, yeah. even two days. Um, a lot of the time I, I tell people like four, five, six days. So you, you go into overload and you just can't handle anything else. So then once you pass that point, you sort of got to let the dust settle again and, you know, just like to have a, some time with yourself, a few days with yourself to notice different things, different patterns, like thought patterns in your life. Right. So it's good to have that time period in between sessions as well. Yeah, yeah I agree. That's why that mm -hmm. space. And I know when we do the, the weight class, we're doing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, as they come back each day, they're reporting successes. But when we had the weekend off and then we come back four days later, they were like, holy S balls. You'll not, you know, like that, because that's when it actually gets to settle in a little bit. Dana, why don't you tell us, uh, remind us about one of the foods that we helped you, that I helped you get rid of and a recent experience you had with that. And I'm going to queue up some more questions. Go ahead, yeah, thanks, thanks very much, Michael Lozier. <laughs> So I've always been, I love French pastry and I in particular like uh, almond croissants, but they have, I have to go to French bakery because that's where they make them the best. So I was out with my sister the other day and we got to this, um, it was a cook shop, but they had fresh bakery and coffee and they had almond croissants. And my sister said, oh, I'll, I'll get you one of those. And I go, uh, no, she goes, what's wrong with you? I go, well, I'm just really not attracted to do those anymore and I think Michael I think you did that one in June and yeah, I'm just not time. like even like people that watched a few posts um with me and Debbie Talbert up from Florida who does the emotion code too and we went to Lucky's Donuts and uh we got a donut because they were there they make them fresh right you smell them you walk in so we cut it in half and we didn't even finish it so it's just there's just no craving and it's you know I I don't don't crave breads or baked goods or anything so it's it's absolutely staying with me good good work okay yeah uh john i'm going to take nakasha's question she is from hot and sunny romford essex so again the uk is having some record breaking temperatures today she's got a question about law of attraction how can i trust that law of attraction will figure a way to make something manifest uh, while feeling anxious to make mm. something happen. Oh, well, that makes sense, <laughs> right? So you're waiting for it to happen, yet you're feeling anxiety. So the anxiety is because you don't trust the process, right? You doubt it. And doubt's a negative vibration. 
So your job is is to remove the doubt, not to get not to give more excitement to what you want to attract. You've done that already. So in a previous episode, I showed you the little faucet. So the level of resistance, in other words, what is stopping the valve from you receiving your manifestation is the anxiety that you're feeling and the doubt because they're both negative vibrations. So your job now is to focus on evidence of your manifestation. Even if it's only a little bit, instead of thinking, oh, well, look, I, I noticed this. This came to me. Oh, that's exciting. Oh, this came to me. It's not exactly what I wanted, but I'm getting close. And now you're proving your attractability. And attractability means your ability to attract. attract. And when you know that you are attractable, then it gets, then you have less doubt that you're able to attract. It's like, uh, this doesn't work. I said, yeah, it does, because I had evidence for five days in a row. So your job is to focus on any evidence that's proving your alignability. We so make up words here. Alignability, that's pretty easy. It's the ability to what? It's the ability to align yeah. your vibration with your desire. So that's what we're doing here. Spend more time loosening up the valve. We'll remove the doubt and finding proof. So thank you, Natasha. Hey, give me a shout out if that helped you, Natasha. Good, John. What have you got queued up to read? Yeah, some uh, hello. hello. So I'm just going to um, say hello to Don Bowen from Illinois. Hey, Don. Good morning. <laughs> uh, Karen Linder Trussell says, good morning, Michael and team from the San Francisco Bay. Nice. Good morning, Karen. Welcome. Yeah. And uh, Sig Brown is watching. Um, morning, Sig. Hey, Sig. Good morning. Jennifer Heiser, our friend from St. Paul, Minnesota. Our Minnesota State Fair is in full swing and a great time. You know what is all I read is our, Minnesota, our Minnesota State Fair, which is full of all kinds of foods that I can never eat when I go there, and I'm going to smell all kinds of food, so I'm not going, is in full swing. That's all I hear when I hear State Fair is food, food, food smells. Check it out sometime. Great to see the power panel. Thanks, Jennifer. Uh, Barb Ashcroft, a friend here on Vancouver Island, Qualifying Beach, she's saying hello. Misty's doing a hashtag Michael Marathon. What else do you got, John? Uh, uh, Margaret Mark. Zalak here is from Michigan. Michigan yeah. is yeah. presenting. Um, Diane uh, Barnella from North Carolina says hello. Yes, Leslie Marshall, our friend from sunny Oregon. Good morning. Okay, you know what? We're on a Q&A show. We've got no cues. <laughs> Not a cue in the house. Misty question, Anderson. Really? There's not a question from Misty Anderson? I, I can give you a question, Michael. Have okay. you got one, John? From Sasavan, yeah. yeah. Go ahead, John. Okay. Yeah. Sasavan has a great question. I know uh, saying I'm not getting what I want is negative, but you are the expert. So uh, can you help me out with my desire? I'm completely focused and meditating. It's been months, but I'm not getting a single evidence i'm following all the steps and instructions and tools please help thank you and i think you know what i'm talking about my ideal girlfriend yes well flattery will get you support here on the hangout with michael show okay so here's what's happening sasa Dan. you're observing that you're not in a relationship mm -hmm. and you really want to be in a relationship so both of those are conflicting vibrations Here's what I want you to do. Here's your homework for a week. I want you to build a list. And I, here's what I want you to call it. Uh, Sasavan, I want you to write your homework out here. The exercise is called, here's what I like about blank. Here's what I like about Betty. Here's what I like about my mom. Here's what I like about, and what you're doing is you're going to notice the things that you like about their characteristics that you'd like in a girlfriend. Really, what do you like about your mother? You like about your mother that she's a good mom and or whatever that might be, and you put that on your list. What do you like about that woman over there? Oh, you like that she was a businesswoman. You like that. So you have to start observing what you like. And in your observation about what you like in others causes you to include the vibration. Because right now, what's in your vibration is the lack of attracting what you want. And law of attraction doesn't know how you're sending it. It's a hack. Okay, I have to say it. Hashtag hack Misty Henderson. It is a hack because law of attraction doesn't know how you got the vibration. It's not very smart, Dana, but it is very 
Obedience. That's right. So it's a hack. It means you can stuff your vibrational bubble with anything, whether you have it or don't have it. You could be tricking law of attraction. So your list is called, here's what I like about. And I want you to do a hundred things. I want you to find a hundred things that you like about the style of the type and the energy of a woman that you like and build that list and point at it and say, I like that. And I like that. And every time you point at it and you include it and every time you include it, law of attraction is matching it. Cause mm -hmm. right now it's finding the lonely sasa van who can't find a girlfriend and keeps looking and has tried everything and tried everything. It's done all the tests and done all the rules. That's the vibration that is picking up. Yeah. So hack it. Include in your vibration all the things you like about all the style of women that you like. The law of attraction won't know the difference. And then send me a picture on your first date. Give me a thumbs up. Okay, great question. Tweet. Clevens is saying, uh, I try to keep a journal of all the yay so I stay open to receive. That's right. It's a reminder. Mm -hmm. hey, here's evidence. Here's evidence. Here's evidence. Good stuff. Good. Who else has got a question or comment? Uh, Dia is watching from Atlanta. Hi, hey, Dia. Dia. Uh, Colleen Teresa McSpirit has given us a heart. Nicole Strauss is watching from Cape Town, Cape Town Africa. Oh, hey, Nicole. Wow. Nice. Good stuff. Uh, uh, Jennifer Heise. Go ahead. She has a no, question. No, go ahead from Jennifer, yeah. Yeah, Jennifer has a question that you can answer. I have a motion code question. Can we remove blocks that others might have towards us or about us? <laughs> we weren't going to have this conversation, but I guess we are, Jennifer. I'll read it again. Uh, I have an emotion code question. Can we remove blocks that others have towards us or about us that is not originating in us? I think there's a word for that, John. Are you going to go there? <laughs> No, I think it's on the tip of your tongue. You you can go there. <laughs> <laughs> what a great way. You know, when somebody in a seminar asks me a question, I don't know the answer. You know what I say? That is a great question. Who wants to help us with that? Because I don't know what they're talking about. Is that what you're doing right now, John? <laughs> Dana. It might sound uh, like she's talking about well. entities. That's what I'm hearing. Is she talking about entities? Things um, that were placed? No, I think place? just people, Michael. People that are, yeah. That are, yeah. But you can ask her. Yeah. I would say. Can we move blocks that others might have towards us? People can't have blocks towards you. I think it's something it in your bubble, wall. right? Yeah. Yeah. It's something that you're putting out there, heart wall or trapped emotion or, or something, some, something in your vibe. That's where that block would be originating from, in my mind, I think. Yeah. I've seen yeah, that before in relationships. Uh, yeah, I could try, I could put many stories. This one here is, I'm attracted to this person over here and they're not attracted to me. Can I remove the blocks that's stopping them to be attracted to me? Well, you could do a heart wall to see if you have any heart walls that are blocking you and that person. Yeah, yeah. I'd be willing to try that. Yeah, there's the accountability, right, Michael? Thank you. Uh, Nicolene Strauss re required all three of your books and CDs. Wow, you are, you are, you're full of me. Loving the journey. Thank you, Nicolene. Nice to hear from you. Okay, Sasavan, I hope I didn't sting you too much, but I hope I helped you as well. Mm -hmm. I can sting a bit. Hey, Karen is from Philippines. Hey, Karen, good morning. Misty Anderson, holy S balls. Uh, Anthony's asking a question, and I, um, uh, John, this is for you. Why do some emotions release and others come back? So I think when he's saying they come back, he means maybe the pain comes back. So it's, you'll answer about them coming back or not coming back. Go ahead, John. Uh, well, if it is about the pain coming back, it's because those, the, that physical tissue isn't totally healed. So you can clear out dozens of emotions, say maybe it's from your knee and pain goes away for a day or two then it comes back it's because the emotions are actually going in there I mean, the, originally the emotions trapped emotions were cleared from that area um, but since it's still there's still some weakness in that the trapped emotions could move into that area it's the, the path of least resistance so you just need to keep clearing emotions from that specific area or contributing to that specific pain until your body your physical body can can catch up uh, with your energetic body and, and start healing yeah. yeah. I just want to make a, a distinction about his question. 
He said, do why do some emotions release and others come back? So the emotion doesn't come back. Once the emotion trapped emotions release, it's gone. The pain is coming back, which is what John just answered. So mm -hmm. yeah, the emotions aren't coming back. That's the good thing. Once they're gone, they're gone. But you can okay. have the, the same emotion multiple times, right? Yeah. Like there's 365 days in a year. And there's also some wiggle room on the ages as well. So if you're 14 and you have some uh, humiliation, something like that, um, you can have, you know, 20 emotions of humiliations from, you know, that, that age range, or it could be over like three years. So it's not the same emotion. It's just kind of like you're caught up in a loop with that same emotion and you're just creating that and trapping that over and over and over again. Okay. And Don was uh, not Don. Uh, Anthony was also the recipient of a, uh, an emotion code session with John, one of our live shows around insomnia. And uh, he can give us another shout out about how magical that session was for him and his excellent results. Uh, we're saying hello to Diane Marie Barnella. I think you did already because I remember you saying that name. So we're saying to her from North Carolina. <laughs> uh, Gwen Lorena has a question. Hey, Gwen, go ahead, please. Can you observe? observe another person's manifestation and count this as evidence if you don't seem to have evidence of your own that's a hack <laughs> that's a hack and i love it thinking like ooh, look at look at the you know because uh, when we were in vancouver i got to watch other speakers right and i was feeling look in the room and thinking oh, i love you know so i was including the excitement about other speakers getting their attention so law of attraction this is really good Law of attraction doesn't know if you're observing, mm -hmm. remembering, pretending, playing, mm -hmm. worrying, complaining, noticing what you do like or noticing what you don't like. It's not very smart, but it simply matches whatever you include in there. So now there's a fine line between being envious of somebody and being jealous mm -hmm. of them, right? So in most cases, it's envy and envy is healthy. You know what envy means? Ooh, I don't want what they have. And that becomes your desire. So if you can treat and say you're envious, it's not a negative vibration. Being envy is good. Now you have something to reach for. You didn't know you wanted it until you saw somebody else have one that you wanted. And I said, ooh, I want one of those. And then jealousy is, how come I can't have that? How mm -hmm. come they, they don't deserve that? But you see similar uh, intentions, but one has a negative vibration. So uh, go ahead, observe it in others, what they're attracting. And as long as you can feel good about that, noticing it and you're still including it. Okay, thank you. Nice, nice. Great. great. I have another question from Natasha. Okay. Law of attraction question. Is it always better to just focus on one desire at a time uh, instead of multiple? Hmm, that's a good question. I'm just looking for my special little slide for that. And, uh, well, it's my picture of the guy juggling many plates at the same yeah, time. Yeah. You know, the truth is, sure, go ahead. Have lots of things. But, you know, that's right. You can't, you can't give full attention to everything. <laughs> you know, a little bit here, give it attention here, give it attention here. But the real reason why I don't recommend doing lots of things is because you start to experience contrast. So say, for example, you said, okay, I want an ideal client and you define your ideal client, and this is the list of your ideal client, and that's not what you have, guess what sets in? Contrast. So now you got a little contrast, and then you did it for money, and then you did it for relationship, and now you're experiencing the chaos. People mm -hmm. say, wow, the chaos happened. The chaos is because you're focusing on what you do want, and you have what you don't want, and the distance between what you do want, and what you don't want, is called resistance. The distance is called resistance. So the farther you are away from your desire, the more stronger the resistance feels. Sometimes it's just a short-lived period until you get rid of the old stuff mm -hmm. and the new stuff starts to come in. So I would say do one thing at a time. Enjoy the process. It's not about the end goal. Sometimes when you get the goal, you only want that for a short period of time. You want something bigger, better, and more. Good. Uh, Misty has a question. John, I'll read it to you. Misty says, I have a teenager. The last few days have been tense. I'm not sure if it's me or her or both. She's just 13 and starting grade eight or eighth grade. Can emotion code clear teen rolling emotions? 13 year old daughter. <laughs> I don't have one of those. I don't know what that's like. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, the answer is definitely <laughs> yes to that. Yes. I mean, Misty, yeah. You could be working on your daughter, you know, and you could be finding out first in my head, I would do um, a heart wall between my daughter and I find out if there's any trapped emotions. The heart wall are trapped emotions that are protecting your heart. So I would do that first. Any trapped emotion between my daughter, boom. And then what else would you recommend, John? Yeah, you could ask. You could ask. Just um, yeah. muscle test it. Trust your muscle testing and your instinct. And just to try and keep it simple with trapped emotions. That's, and, you know, you can work on your daughter every day or, you know, once a week, something like that. Keep her clear. Keep yourself clear. Yeah. And I, mean, I think it's kind of a unique time, right, for her. So just, you know, going into grade eight. Mm-hmm. Hashtag pull back, back to school. Misty. Hashtag pull back, Misty. <laughs> <laughs> Our friend Pierre Morse from Montreal, French patissière, almond croissant. Love the show, Pierre from Montreal, part two message. Okay, we'll look for your part one there. Yeah, you see part one. one. We have an update from Anthony. Oh, great. Go ahead, please. He is giving him na- himself the name Double Dipping Anthony. Yeah, well, you know so what? He's Anthony proud of that. Was double dipping on the Emotion Code Bro show, which means we worked on him twice. And the other time was for heartburn, but uh, for insomnia. Thumbs up to the Emotion Code Bros. No more insomnia. Listen, I have a story. Thank you, Anthony. I have a story. It happened yesterday. This client that I have, she's responding so well to everything. She had, she had toes that curled mm-hmm. a little bit. They always, and she was always clenching her toes, clenching her toes all the time. And I, and, and she just kind of slipped and told me that. And I thought, you know, that's not normal, right? And she said, well, it doesn't really bother me. Although I remember when I was a kid, they always thought it was a problem. So mm-hmm. I did an emotion code session. You have to hear this. I did an emotion code session for her and I found one trapped emotion and it was while she, it was prenatal. It was while she mm-hmm. was in her mother's room between six and seven months in the mother's womb she had a trapped emotion and she was born with curled toes and i promise you not her toes uncurled and went straight during an emotion code session and i wasn't i wasn't looking at her i was doing it over here reading my chart so i couldn't see her face and then i was done i kind of came to her and i said okay so let's get an update and she said my toes are straight for the first time ever wow, wow. is not that exciting trapped very, emotion very. made of curl her toes uh, our friend Permelia from Vancouver Island, she's saying good morning. Oh, she's from Edmonton. She's in Edmonton. So uh-huh. there, there you go. Uh, We've got an update from Don. Don's Don. Bomb. Remember oh, Double yeah. Dip and Don? Oh, yeah. I know the Double Dippers. I know the Double Dippers. <laughs> I've forgotten about insomnia since that episode when John removed the emotions. I wake up once a night and go right back to sleep in a few minutes. Thanks again. Wow. Forgot Very he had good. it. Yeah, good wow. stuff. Louise Vigneault. She's surprised I can pronounce that name. Hey, Louise, good morning. Patricia Rinaldi is also giving us a couple happy faces. We love that. Dana, why don't you uh, set us up for what we're working on next week's show, please? Okay. Well, this will be a favorite as well. So it's episode 206. How to teach, Michael's going to do how to teach law of attraction. He's going to do step one, identify your, identify your desire. So Sasevan, this might be a good one for you just to check in again and be in the energy of this. Yeah. Yeah. Identify your desire. Yeah. So whether you're a coach or a trainer already, or whether you just want to help your friends, I'm going to teach you how I teach certified facilitators to do the clarity through contrast exercise. So, you know, even if you go to the restaurant with those paper placemats, I'm going to teach you how to help people get clear using step one. It's the same model that I teach facilitators. I'm going to teach you how to do that. Can I say that again? I'm going to teach you how to do that. Join us next uh, um, Friday at that time for sure. Good stuff. And John, uh, can you remind people how to join us tomorrow on the bro show? Same place, same time, same place. Back here, the Bro Show on Michael's Facebook fan page. We're going live, and we're working on someone with anxiety or social anxiety. So I mean, there could be ten different symptoms with anxiety, and it's just huge um, it, to have that and have that affect your life. So we, we're looking for someone to help if you have anxiety. Come join us tomorrow, 9 a.m. Pacific. Good stuff. Hey, you know what I want to do today? I want to take an opportunity to 
give you a quick little tour on my homepage because I have a brand new homepage and I've got some free things out there that I want to introduce you to. So let's take a little peek at my, there we go. So here is my new homepage and you can see it's hangoutwithmichael.com and I have my law of attraction book, my NLP book, your life's purpose book. If you want to download the free copy of the 30 um, list, go here, book an emotion code session, certified facilitator. And here at the very end, slide this over out of the way, is the live show. So if you click on the live show, here you can take a look at all the shows. Oh, there was last week, Dana was talking about that. The money show is there. On the right hand side, you can click on the Bro Show logo and we have the playlist. You can let us know that you want to be notified. We change the date of the Bro Show depending on our schedule. I'm going to be traveling on a Saturday coming up. So here's the playlist. Here's upcoming topics. Tomorrow is anxiety, uh, constipation the next week, fear and anxiety over air travel, nail biting, specific foods, night sweats, PMS, all kinds of great stuff coming up. You can check that out. But I do want to take you to the home page and show you some things you might be interested in. This is a program here. It's I'm New to Law of Attraction. It's a 30-minute recorded video with a workbook. And I promise I will help you understand why you're attracting what you're attracting and how to reset your vibes. So check that out. I also have another link here. If you want to teach Law of Attraction, talk about more in the next week, the Emotion Code. Uh, here's the Emotion Code Weight Loss. Check that out. And here's other things, becoming more abundant, allow more business, lots of products here. You can go check that out in my book. So good to check it out. It is my new page on hangoutwithmichael.com and uh, hopefully we can serve you soon. So thank you for hanging out with us today. Stop sharing that. Come back to the panel here. I'm gonna hear from Dana and John. Dana will hear from you. And then, John, if you can do a quick little scan to see if anybody else is saying anything. So, Dana, what is your wrap-up today? Well, I well, think that – sorry, again, a little bit, bit of an echo there. Um, I always love to hear about the actual emotion code um, releases that happen because it's just such an astounding uh, – it, it's a miraculous healing technique. I mean, even when I work with my clients, sometimes I am just blown away with what changes they've had or what releases they've had and how fast they are moving forward. So even hearing about that um, lady with the toes, Michael, like people will say, oh yeah, yeah. I mean, they'll be skeptics, but yeah. the fact of the matter is it does work. You know, you, John and I know that and we've seen it with clients over and over. So it's, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. You know, and with all the success that I have, um, I usually do a lot of work and I just had one client, we booked an hour, we had two sessions and he didn't get the results that he wanted and he quit at the process. He quit the process mm -hmm. because he hears me say how fast other people get it, right? So he wasn't getting the same results. And I remember when we had Dr. Bradley on, yes, he said, just stick with it, just stick with it. So I think Buddy gave up a little bit too soon, right? Yeah. By text, so, gave up a wow. little bit too do soon yeah. by text. I really wanted to help him some more. But yeah. anyway, so sometimes it's longer, sometimes it's shorter. So uh, good stuff. Yeah. Dr. Brad shows are 187 and 189, Michael, I think. Oh, good. What Thanks for telling us that. Because we talked yeah. about the heart wall once, which he'll yeah. be really 189. Yeah. Uh, Day, our friend is saying she has a life purpose question. Is it best to narrow down to four? I'm having trouble because more than four are on the list. This is perfect. If you have more than four, then take them all and put them on little yellow stickies one at a time. Put them on your bulletin board. And if you have 10, play with 10. But here's what you do. When something that really excited you and say, oh, I love when that happens, say, what got met? Then go to the board and, and then you say, ah, this one's got met. That's why this one fulfilled me. And then start to move them. So take the sticky off from here and move it to the top of the list. And that's how you can have all 10. We really, I really want you to know the real four important ones. So yeah. sort your list and eventually you'll see a pattern. Good question. Good. John, I'm going to hear from you next. I don't see any other questions, but some hellos. Oh, hellos are good. Chris uh, Kutna is from Michigan and says, hi. Michael Jensen says, good morning, everyone. Happy to be here. 
nice. Um, He's from Aruba. Oh, yeah. Home. Yeah. Carol uh, Waddell is saying we have, I have a nice page. Sylvia Bellini likes my page. That's exciting. Carmen says hello. Hey, Carmen. Well, good. I think we had a great time with everybody today here on the Hangout with Michael show. We'd love to include you in our mailing so you can get notified 30 minutes before the show. Even though Facebook might do it or not do it, we want to send you an email, let you know that we're going live. And uh, the other thing that my stats are showing that 80% of you are on your phones. Mm -hmm. So I, I, you might be at work, you might be in bed, you might be <laughs> somewhere, but you're watching on your phone. So. Hopefully not driving. Yeah, hopefully not driving. <laughs> Good. We covered it, guys. We did a great job today answering people's questions. And uh, if you learned something today, and a friend of your, a friend of yours name came to your mind, that should see this show today, go ahead and share it. We'd love for you to do that. Until next week, everybody. We are saying goodbye here on the Hangout with Michael show. Bye, everybody. Thanks. Bye.